Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix Dead Island 2 if it's crashing on your PC on Windows 10 or Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that I highly recommend and probably this is the best solution you can try out is to make sure that your drivers are updated, if not just update your drivers. To do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options and now in the Device Manager window make sure to expand Display Adapters then right click on your graphics card and select the Update Driver option. Now just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best drivers for your PC. In case you don't have them on your computer you can also use the manufacturer's website. So open up your default browser and access the links that I posted in the description below. It's either NVIDIA or AMD, depending on your graphics card. Now I'll show you with NVIDIA. So once you are on the official website, make sure to choose your product. You can see you have a lot of drop-down menus in here. Choose the model that you own and then click on the green search button. Once again, click on the download button. As you can see, this is the latest version of the GeForce Game Ready driver. Click on the download button and again you will be asked to click on the download button to confirm this procedure. So make sure to choose a location, preferably on your desktop and click on the save button. Now the driver will be downloaded and once it's done make sure to just access it and follow the on-screen instructions. But if you have the AMD graphics card what you have to do, as you can see it's quite similar to the other, is again choose your model and then click on the submit button. This will take you to the next page which will let you choose if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, just choose the operating system you have and then as you can see you can click on the download button next to the AMD software Adrenaline Edition. So click on the download button, choose a location, preferably on your desktop and wait until the download is finished and then you can run the installation file by following the on-screen instruction and installing the drivers. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to repair the game files. What you have to do first of all is open up the Epic Games Launcher and then in here go to Library and select the game that's problematic, in our case it's Dead Island 2. Just click on the three dots next to it and select the Manage option and lastly just click on the Verify button next to Verify Files. This will check if there's any corrupted files within your game and try to fix them as soon as possible. Now you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another great solution is to update Windows 11. Sometimes a build of Windows 11 can be problematic to your game. So in order to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Afterwards, click on Windows Update on the left pane. And then on the right side, select the Check for Updates button. Windows will now scan for the latest updates. And if it finds any, it will download and install them automatically. Afterwards, just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix, which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically, DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on, you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? If this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and I wish you a great day.